Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are hopping on on what kind of seems like a trend lately. Today we are going to be doing Plumbella's build challenge. The amazing, chaotic and hilarious fellow creator Plumbella made a challenge that she calls the most devilish challenge ever. James Turner tried this and he called it cursed. Deli also tried it and she said it's cursed. This challenge has left a lot of creators in frustration so today we're going to give it a go and see what the fuss is about. Grab yourself a drink and let's head into the it. The challenge is on this website called perchance.org and basically it gives you a building style like example French country. It gives you the amount of floors and the amount of rooms. It gives you the budget which you have to spend exactly it tells you how many sims this house is meant to hold and it also gives you a uh, disadvantage and for example the disadvantage can be like for this build you cannot delete any object that you have placed and it ends with some good luck from the queen herself plumbella so what we are going to do we are going to randomize three times to see what challenge we are going to be doing today one two and three the building style of your house is tiny home and your color themes will be white, yellow and blue. It will have two floors and three rooms. Your budget for this build is 35,760 simoleons exactly. It houses five sims and your disadvantage for this build is that you must build everything in a bird's eye view. Now what I'm getting from that is that we have to build it from the top view. My first thought is that that is going to be really hard so we're just going to have to see I think I'm, I've, I haven't actually played with the Growing Together pack ever since it came out. We are expecting a new expansion pack and I haven't played with the last one. That is not good on my part. I have not been around. I have only played with Infants once. So why don't we just build in Sansa Koya to kind of, kind of compensate for that. Oh my gosh. Um, we need a sim to move in. You're gonna have to do babe. I don't really care. How many sims is this meant to hold again? It's meant to hold five sims. Five. I'm not making five sims, babe. I'm just gonna make for the one. He does plan on having getting a partner and three kids, but for now, it's just him in the house. Okay, we are here. It is not the best weather in San Sequoia. It is really rare. I'm just gonna change that real quick because I do. Actually, I have the mod where if I'm in build mode, it cancels all weather effects. So we're gonna start by adding in her budget, which is thirty-five thousand. I. I am not typing anything. Quite a funny story. I did actually start building, but guess what? I was not filming the entire time, so we are gonna have to start again. Our but <laughs> sorry. Our budget is thirty five thousand seven hundred and sixty. We are only allowed to build with um the top view. I think yeah, the top down view. This is all we are allowed. I'm not sure how possible it is to actually build in this view. We are only allowed to build a tiny home. So I was thinking that we could do a double thing like this, which puts us in the small, the small home category. But I didn't really like the box kind of feature. So I kind of added in a little bit at the side. Oh gosh, this is going to be so annoying. We also had a little front bit here. That seems to be too many tiles. So maybe we do a little shrink. I'm not sure what my plan is here, but let's put in lights and see how it goes. Is this meant to be in blue since our color scheme is in fact blue, yellow, and white? We do have a budget for this, so we have to be careful on the amount of money we spend. I was thinking we do a little porch area like that. Maybe we put in a little like roof situation right out front. Just a cute little porch. Again, not sure if that's high enough or if the angle is like way too high. But we can't tell. Okay, for this side, I was thinking we do like a little bit of an entryway. But now I'm realizing that we are actually at our room limit because we are only allowed three rooms and two floors. So if we have one room here, one room here, we should only have one room on the upper side, which now I'm thinking about it makes absolutely no sense. How are we going to get bathrooms in here? And this is supposed to house five sims. Like, how does that work? My cute little porch idea is not working out. We're going to have to get rid of the porch. We could keep the roof, though. We could still have a porch. We just need, like, the room space on the inside. Is this roof on the bottom floor? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused because we're not allowed to, like, look at the sides. Um. So, the plan is we're going to have the kitchen, dining, whatever on this like open plan room for us to have five sims in one house we're gonna have to have two rooms so i'm thinking we're gonna have one room right here and one room right here and then what i'm thinking is 
Is that making sense? We could get rid of this. That could be like a high ceiling situation. And that could be a room right there. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a room up here. We could maybe fit in an ensuite bathroom. I'm not sure how that's going to work. And then here, how are we going to have an ensuite bathroom? We could. Gosh, this is going to be hard. Um. Okay, let's just start with here and see how we go from there. Our color scheme is yellow, white, and blue. And these are the only options we have. I've never actually been the person to use, like, blue freaking carpets. Like, that's not the best choice ever. We could go for a... Oh, that's actually quite cute. We could go for a white. I've not really used white um, flooring before. Then we could match that with maybe a darker blue. Ooh, that's actually really cute. This, like, dark blue on the walls. Ooh, we could go for a marble situation. I can't really see the... De oh, that is expensive. Okay, no, we're not gonna go for that. Sorry. Sorry I even brought up that idea. Because we do have a budget, so we are gonna keep to that. Um, ooh okay eco lifestyle pulling through once again that's why eco lifestyle is my absolute favorite pack for a building i'm gonna start with the kitchen and again we do still have to keep with the color scheme oh dream home decorator that could be nice but this is a darker one and it kind of matches what we already have oh or felixandre love felixandre you could go for that one with the kind of oh i'm not allowed to look i'm not allowed to look top eye view top eye view FBI, open up! We could go for the Felixandre because it does have the white um, tops. Okay, in order to save a bit of space, instead of adding in uh, a whole entire like dining room, we could instead add in an island on this side. And then we could add in um, bar stools on this area. But as I was saying, I am one for like a beautiful white build, white modern build. But the white is a bit much. It is in fact a bit much in this build. And I'm not really a fan of that. We're going to have to incorporate a lot of blues and yellows into this build. If you want to make it look like as good as we can. Can have a white fridge. That's a really cute matching um, stove top by Sibule. It comes in a set. I think that's what says that the millennial set. I think that's where it's from. Um, on this side, we could have just a simple sink situation. Ooh, a dark blue one. I'm not sure how that looks. I'm just gonna peep through this side. Okay, that, that's good. Have it kind of lopsided to um, the left. And then we could use this space for a little living room situation. That is a really small lounge room space. But again, this is a tiny home. Okay, so problem solved. So basically what I've done is I basically moved the kitchen like to the other side, basically flipped it. And then we can kind of move the door kind of anywhere we feel like it. And we have a bunch of space for our lounge room now. I think if we go for the cheapest version we can, we could go for a sectional couch. But that will kind of take up way too much space. We could go for a base game modern love seats. I really love these eco lifestyle seats. I love them so much. Like you don't even understand. The epiphany. Ooh. I actually really like that. We could go for a lighter version. If we have it like kind of like this. We can have a TV stand over here. We don't really have much space to add an armchair or anything. But this could work. This could potentially work. I know this is probably not the best use of my money. But this is a really cute like TV stand. We're not going to buy the 5,000 simoleon TV. Actually, this is really cheap. 2,000. Uh, 2,000 is a bit much. Okay, I'm actually going to be sensible and i'm actually gonna go for that one instead for i feel like this living room slash dining slash kitchen is a bit blue and white we do need something to kind of break up the colors that we have in here but there really isn't much options because if we just pop down a yellow rug that makes absolutely no sense so we're gonna have to keep to the theme with the blue but that's a cute little um rug it is that's actually not the full size but the bigger size is a bit much okay we could have that <sighs> A fur. Now tell me that isn't gorgeous. Tell me that's gorgeous without telling me that's gorgeous. Okay, so those are the basic furnitures down for this little room down here. So I do want to move into the kids room, but I am going to go upstairs to kind of figure out this situation. So I'm not sure how we are going to fit a bedroom and a bathroom in this little space. Um, but we are going to try. I did, I was actually, I, 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 I was actually thinking of putting in like maybe the kids bedroom here but realistically speaking like putting bunk beds up here is kind of a health hazard I'm jumping off 
this is not seeming very possible. I think we are gonna actually have to kind of scoot the build just a block this way. And then we are gonna have to add in a little piece right here. And don't worry, we are gonna add this into the room. I think we're gonna have to have the doorway over here. And then it is technically, according to the game, it is still the same room. And what we could do is... Okay, <laughs> I thought we could put this spandrel things like over over this, but that doesn't seem to work. We're gonna have to come up with something creative to kind of divide this in a way. Maybe we could put on some curtains. These ravishing curtains, we could do that. Ooh, that actually works. We could put in a curtain right there. Change that to maybe a white. Um, I'm getting tired of the whites. Is that considered a yellow? Or we could match the blue. I guess we get started on the bathroom. I'm so confused as to what just happened. <laughs> okay, we could put a shower in here, but I think it would be better to kind of have the bathroom bath situation. That's expensive. I mean, we only have $200 and that one. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to save that 200 simoleons and just put in this. Pop in a seep chink. A seep chink. A cheap sink on this side. I don't know why I have so many custom content mirrors. Like, it really is not that deep. What is that even used for? We could use the fun one. A circle one with a ring light for some TikToks. Another circle one. I have so much. I don't even know what I use them for. But I have them, and that's great. Live, laugh, love, babe. Live, laugh, love. I think I downloaded these as part of, like, a pack. Like, it came merged in one single pack. And most of them I will probably never ever use in my entire building career, but we, we have them nonetheless. That's a fun little addition because the house is quite boring as only a blue and white. I do always, after we got the bathroom clutter kit, I do always try my best to add in like some bathroom clutter. We could use this as kind of adding yellow into our build. Not sure if there's any space to squeeze in a toilet. I'm not sure if this toilet is going to be functional, but I am going to shove one in this corner. And I do find it also necessary, like it's not functional in any way, but why would you not put in the toilet paper holder? I don't see why you wouldn't do that. And that's basically the toilet done. I am going to change up the flooring and walls for some tiles. I have really fallen in love with the growing together um, tiles for dark blue and for the walls the growing together came with a bunch of cool things okay i'm kind of liking the vibes of that bathroom i'm not gonna lie let's actually design the decorate the bedroom and then we're gonna go downstairs and kind of decorate that and then head into the children's room before we kind of do the outside still staying in our top view could have a little mirror in this corner we definitely need some plants are we gonna have to go for the same color scheme for plants because i'm not sure there are any blue plants these paintings fit perfectly into our color scheme they are white and blue and i like to have this like diagonal pattern everywhere in my builds i don't know it just seems really nice i'm gonna add in one of those like funky mirrors we have behind the bed oh that is gorgeous but it's hard being what i'm not well if you don't you're gonna get a car oh that's cute that's cute let's have that one and maybe let's add in a rug i'm liking what we finally came up with for this upper bedroom it actually is really cute i'm not actually feeling so bad about the color scheme the color scheme was a really good pick i'm really glad that we got this like beautiful color scheme it's actually working really well together it's not necessary but i feel like adding the pillar right here like kind of under this just makes a lot of sense gosh that is large for absolutely no reason Oh my gosh, they actually stick together. I did not know that. I was today years old when I discovered that. I think it's because they are from Dream Home Decorator. And a lot of things from Dream Home Decorator tend to stick together. Yes, they are from Dream Home Decorator. Now, last of all, the last room is the children's room. So what we are going to do, since we have blue and white basically everywhere in the entire house, we're going to have to... Oh my gosh, that is... Let's just fix that real quick. There we go. Since we've had like the blue and white scheme on basically every other part of the house 
for this part of the house i think we're going basically a lot of yellow in this part of the room and i have been really wanting to use this um small custom content i got the yellow swatch is really cute and i really love it it is a kid's room so we could go for that so we are gonna have to fit three beds in here so we're gonna have to add in a bunk bed um we might shrink this in a bit and i just want to kind of give us a challenge of kind of like fitting a bunch of things into this little room and of course i am going to give them like difference but they do still have to fit with a color scheme so this could be blue this could be yellow am i blind or can i just not find the dream home decorator bed Ooh, that's a cute bed from growing together i have not used that before okay so that's not working out i'm not finding the bed in there gonna have to go through here yeah, it's that one. And we could have a basic boring white on the bottom. It kind of annoys me when like the woods doesn't match, but I guess it's fine. Or we could go for a matching one like that. That is sort of white, so I guess it still matches the color scheme. So for here, we're going to put in a desk. And we are kind of running out of money, so we're going to have to watch what we spend now. We could just put a basic white desk under there. <gasps> this cute little giraffe! We have to put that in. We have to. Do we have that in a yellow? We do. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. That is, isn't that absolutely adorable? That is so cute. Um, Let's put in some toys. Or we could just put in a toy box right there. I do want to put some things on the table, but I can't really see where they're going. Oh, I actually just realized that is not in our color scheme. Gonna have to go for that. That is blue and yellow. And then I do have this mod. It is by, um, by Ravishing. It's like drawn sketches of basically like children's drawings. And I think they look really good. We can't only put in the blue and yellow ones and the white ones. I've never actually had like color constraints before while building. It is hard and actually quite interesting to be able to like stay in one color. So we have done this, we have done the upstairs. So all we have to do next is just to decorate this, like finish up decorating this and then we can go to the outside. I am now realizing we do not have any windows, not one window whatsoever in this entire house. But we will fix that once we are done with the insides. But I basically like to put all the furniture down to kind of know the best placement for our windows. We can basically add in just a bunch of clutter. I like to add in this. This is also by Sibule. You can add the little bread box. Okay, another mod I really recommend if you are really into building is the OMSP shelves. So basically what it does is that you place it basically on the ground. Like if you want to add clutter to your shelves or your counters and you basically add what you want to add in here. So if I do want to add this, I can basically add whatever clutter I want to add. And then when I move it over to the walls, I can easily raise them up and it's basically a free placement. So I can basically place them wherever I want and I don't have to like pull the counters out or do any of that like placing like nonsense and it's a really cool mod by ravishing and i really recommend it me realizing that i do also have to keep with this color scheme even when i'm adding my clutter so we're gonna add in that one in blue and i do want to add in the the upper shelves but i'm not sure yeah i'm not sure we actually have the matching ones so we're gonna have to not have that we also need a bin <laughs> I forgot about that. I just realized something. A build challenge restriction is to only make room for five sims. If you make room for a pet, does that count as a sim or does it not? Because the pets are basically part of the house. So I am realizing that this pillar is kind of blocking up the stairs. Would considering a pet in that situation be allowed? That's just something I think about. I'm just like, I'm basically just rambling while I decorate some plants and we should be done. I'm not really sure I could add any other things. We could add a bookshelf. We need a bookshelf in this house. Why is that so bright? Why is that so... Why is the white on that so bright? And that is an ugly swatch. So if you add that on there, that is like a beautiful flowing grown, overgrown ivy and I really love that. So what I am going to do now is actually place our windows um i can't really see what i'm doing since i am on top view if we have a window right there with a white swatch obviously uh we could have a double window there but we don't really need one 
okay a window right here could be nice okay we're gonna add windows in the kids room and we can kind of put the pictures on there to kind of look like they've pasted it on the walls we could have a window at the back right here i'm not sure how these are gonna look on the outside an eco light oh gosh that is much simple window right there so up next is the outside we haven't placed down like walls or anything i'm thinking we go for a siding that is a very intense swatch if we go for a white over here we could then go for a blue on this room and then if you put in pillars over here i do want to add in this um triangle like triangle roof from growing together but i don't know if it's going to be a good fit because again i can't see what i'm doing i can't see anything from the sides and it actually is really annoying and we have completed most of what we are meant to be doing for our challenge we have made it a tiny home it is within the range for a tiny home we have used the color scheme of white yellow and blue some colors more than others we have not in fact used all our budget because we are meant to spend 35,760 simoleons exactly it is meant to house five sims it houses two parents and three children all sharing a room not five sims sharing a room the three kids are sharing the room and we have built the entire thing from bird's eye view so all we have to do is basically spend the rest of the money <gasps> well i'm so scared that this house is incredibly ugly can that oh gosh why does why does nothing uh that could work i'm just my head is just basically all over the place because we have that little space right there and i do not know what to do with it we could add a basic window but it doesn't really match the rest of the build like the rest of the build has these big eco lifestyle windows 8000 simoleons that we can use to basically decorate the outside so basically that means we're just gonna have to add in some plants gosh all the trees basically look very hideous do we have any bushes we could add we have to make sure we are staying in top view <laughs> the little twigs oh gosh i can't i can't we could have this in the front it is very much dead but we could potentially have that um i love these hedges they look a bit more defined so we have to go back in to find things that are quite expensive to add into the house a paint easel we're gonna go for the most expensive we can find we could add a telescope oh that's not expensive that's actually not that's disgusting how inexpensive that was could add in a guitar what else can we add a piano could add in a keyboard there's probably a musical prodigy somewhere in this house okay we are five thousand dollars away hear me out hear me out someone's a photographer a young photographer or maybe someone up here, one of the parents is a photographer that have pricey $2,000 camera up there. Okay, we are 3,500 simoleons to go. A bike, bikes are 100. That's so disappointing. <laughs> That's so disappointing. But we could add in the bikes. We do have three kids. So that's one, two, three. One of them is clearly a favorite because he got the cooler bike. We could add in some fitness equipment, but I'm not sure where. We could plop this in or a water slide park at the back. Where are all the expensive stuff? Ooh, a console. That's not a console. Let's add in a console. More bookshelves. That's <gasps> a PC. I can't believe we haven't thought of that. We could add a PC. I mean, we can't afford like much, but we could get a streaming PC and then we're down to 500. Then if we add in a Wabbit tablet, I'm not sure anyone is actually um, young enough to use that. So that makes no sense. <gasps> expensive paintings. We could add that. So let's find the most expensive painting we can. Leaf, leaf pile prints. Okay. If we plop that down, that is yellow. We get the yellow swatch that's blue and yellow shrink that down then we could put that right beside the tv and we are down to 52 simoleons light switches are 25 if you add one here and one in here we're down to two simoleons and i know for a fact there are some decals that are one simoleon this one is one simoleon 
um a paternity test certificate is one simoleon pouring on the walls we could fit that in the children's room one right there and one right there so i believe since we have finished the build we can get out of top view now i am really really hoping that this build is not a complete monstrosity so let's go over the rules and see if we um actually completed everything tiny home it is a tiny home it is a tiny home residential white yellow and blue we did in oh my gosh we didn't actually go with that um color scheme for the roof i'm not sure if we're supposed to stay in that color scheme for the roofing but we no oh gosh oh gosh why did i think about this um blue oh god that is a bit much that's just just a tad much that's a little bit much blue yeah this could work this could potentially work okay so now we have actually completed that we have used white yellow and blue in the entirety of this house it is two floors with three rooms the main room on the down floor the bedroom on the down floors which is actually combined with the bathroom which just divided it with a curtain and last we have the kids room down here which fit three beds for three sims i don't know how that's possible that's going to be like the most uncomfortable living situation ever we have this we used all our funds, 35,760 simulants exactly. This is going to contain five sims and we did build everything from the bird's eye view. And now I'm just going to confirm that everything looks good because I am really scared that this is going to look absolutely horrendous, especially from the outside. I'm not really sure what the outside looks like because it was easier to decorate the inside. But let's see. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i would change a few things as like i couldn't place that like what is that situation what is that situation right there this bush is floating in absolute mid-air love that for me this roof isn't painted this roof also isn't painted and the roof it kind of needs a roof trim that is actually a decent looking house i actually quite like it i was worried about this being like mismatch with the whole situation down here why right? i am realizing that the wall behind the door is not actually painted the wall the window placement is is it is interesting the hardest part was definitely building from the top view it was really hard to kind of like do the exterior interior wasn't that bad the interior looks good let's have a little refresh we have this situation so if you come into our really skinny porch we have a very skinny porch if you come in we have oh my <laughs> oh my god oh my god, oh my god, oh my god they did not they did not add in the freaking mailbox right in the living room so we have our mailbox right here you have to come into the room to actually give us our mail we have a musical genius in this house. I'm not sure who it is, but they do play the keyboard and the guitar, as you can see there. Oh my god, this mailbox thing really cracked me up. The thermostat is on top of the window. Very gorgeous addition. We have this little setup right here. I am really loving. I love... Oh, oh, wow. That is interesting. We have this um, falling ivy, which I really love. I love that custom content piece so much. We have that painting right there. I'm actually loving the vibes of this living room. It's very small. Not sure how it's supposed to fit five sims. We have this kitchen. It's very simple, very blue and white. This whole room is blue and white. Um, don't forget about the very white mailbox. Um, in the kids' room, we fit three kids into this very small room. Um, we have a bunk bed and a bed with um we have a little streamer on our hands we have a content creator i love this little corner with the window for a bit of a view and i really do enjoy this bedroom situation and it is the same room with this bathroom it just has the curtain dividing it it's not the best build but i am actually really proud of it plumbella love thank you for the challenge this was in fact a very devilish challenge it is in fact a very cursed challenge especially using the top view that was really that was like absolutely disgusting i hate that so much that is all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and youtube thinks you're gonna like this video so see if they're right and i'll see you over there good damn bye